Now, our first guest for today, our celebrity cook-along guest for this Heritage Day is the exceptional Nganyiso Nakanya. Now, he captured the attention of South African audiences as the friendly face on a popular youth show that's very early on in his life. The young entertainer cut his teeth in TV hosting before making the monumental switch to acting. Now, he's much loved for his role as Njeza on SABC One's popular show, Uzalo, and has proven the actor's sheer level of talent. Now, he joins us in studio today to chat about his journey. Plus, we get to test out his cooking skills. But first, let's have a quick snippet and have a look of Nganyiso on, Nganyiso on the job. <laughs> fast, she say clean, this is a clean, but for some of spies. Confound evidence of Sana Lab, Suzo Ako, Ipuma Wasan, evidence there. Nasal Fuz. I don't know, I'm Mosha Yonk, I don't manch. Or Tilani Pande, Funa Pin the Fuz, shall we come in the manch? Gishai Gifana Mosabon, Zoinzan, eh? Zoinzan, look at you much under the tap. Kang Shai is a boy, you also dread out and go to an umpire says. I felt like I was in that scene. Now, look, if you've got any questions for Nganyiso, hit us up on our social media platforms using the hashtag Afternoon Express. First and foremost, Happy Heritage Day and welcome to the Loft Nganyiso. Thank you. Happy Heritage Day to you too, Pamela. How are you doing? Listen, it is so good to be here with you because we get an opportunity not only to just touch base as fellow South Africans, but to dive deeper into your incredible body of work. Yes. You have been everywhere. I mean, you first, everywhere. <laughs> you first came in to yeah. the show. You came, well, not the, not the show, but the entertainment industry yeah. as the host, of course, the presenter of a young youth show. How yes. was that experience for you? Uh, for me, it was exciting because I came in as an intern, firstly. So I got to know everything that is production. I, I got to do the cam uh, camera work. I got to do sound. I got to do lighting. Everything that is production research. But I started off at a community TV station. So that's where I got to do everything uh, about television and, of course, production. That's wow. how I got to learn about television. That is crazy. So you literally have understood the industry, not only from in front of the camera, but from yes. behind the camera too. Yes. I think that that gives you a leg up in any industry, it, understanding what every role the p people play around you. It definitely does more uh, technically, because, mm. you know, camera work, sound, you need to understand all those things. Lighting, you need to move into your light. You need to, yeah. and when you're on a live show, nobody's there to tell you this. So you need to understand all of that. So Absolutely. for me, it really did help me. Well, did, uh, give me like a foundation into this whole TV thing. Mm. And then what was the decision to step in front of the camera, especially at such a young age? I mean, I've always wanted to be in front of the camera. It's just that I wasn't really sure uh, what type of show I would want to do in front of a camera. And I think that's, um, it, it gives you strength if you know exactly what you want to do on television. You can't just go around saying, I want to be a presenter for Expresso. But are you really interested in what Expresso produces? You yeah. know what I mean? So for me, it sort of like helped me when I was still behind the scenes to say exactly that oh, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Mm. And these are the type of shows that I would like to present for the rest of, rest of my life. And you took, a, took it a step further, speaking of Expresso, yeah, yeah. and you were a guest judge on the Durban leg of yes. the presenter search. How yes. was that for you? That was exciting because <laughs> I was sitting on the other end because I always do auditions. And were you nervous? Because I was. This is now you're the judge. For, I was nervous for them because I know how how it is when you get inside and also the room was just so small yeah. the judges are here the cameras are here and the lights it gets very hot so i was really nervous for them but i mean i had fun oh you i think that you have fun doing anything you do everything you touch turns to gold i mean you made the monumental jump into acting how was the shift for you mentally and not only mentally but physically because the role of unjeza mm. is an ex-convict i mean looking at the polished gentleman in front of me <laughs> that is quite opposite Thank to you. the character you play well, uh, I was nervous. I was scared. I, 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 I was just hoping that I would just portray the role that the way that South Africans supposed to receive the role or in a more um, relatable way to somebody in the township and somebody that knows of Angeza. Mm. So for me, I think I was lucky enough that in primary school I got to do theatre plays. Mm. So with that, I got to understand acting. And when I moved on into um, high school, I took up dramatic arts as one of my subjects and I got to learn a bit more about acting. So. I've done the TV presenting and now I had to get into acting. But my big stress was, 
am I going to do the role the way that it's supposed to be done? Do it justice. I think yes. that is so nerve-wracking because yes. being a presenter and being in front of the camera and just hosting, it's very much about you. It's yeah. about Nkanyi, so yeah, yeah, yeah. who he is deep down and, you know, bringing that out, especially in youth television. Yes. And you do a complete 180 and now you are taking on a completely different human being, mm. different mannerisms. What kind of research and, 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 and work did you put into it articulating Unjeza. With that, for me, I think Guangxi is that I grew up all over KZN. Mm -hmm. So I got to experience different areas of KZN, even the dangerous areas. So I, I got to know of Anjeza when I was growing up, wherever I grew up, whether it was South Beach, uh. we all know how dangerous South Beach is in Durban, whether it was Emlazi mm. or Iskawini, there was always that Anjeza person. So in research for me, I didn't have to do much because it was already there. So all these years of me growing up was actually mm. preparing me for Anjeza. Wow. So, and, and I think that world works in such an interesting way to bring together these yeah. two worlds and kind of make it work for you. Thank and boy, have you made it work for oh, you. Thank you so and much. social media and South Africa want to hear from the person that they have fallen in love with, watching you from just those young age to the gentleman that you are today. We've asked you on social media and online if you've got any questions for Nkanye. So, and we've got Ukolani here, right. who used the hashtag Afternoon Express, and he first starts off by saying, Happy Heritage Day everyone so happy here to stay from Ukolani and he wants to ask you Mr. Nganyiso Makanya yes. aka <laughs> Jeza my favorite actor what character or role does he enjoy the most when he is acting or rather prefers doing the um, other roles in what you're doing now mm. and more than anything what can he expect from you uh, on television I've only done two roles which is uh, Upegi on another show and now Unjeza right now I am enjoying Unjeza because I've always wanted to portray a role like Unjeza because of you know my experiences growing up I've always wanted to sort of like uh, show people what mm. so thank you so much for those questions Stunning. And yeah. speaking about roles, speaking about work that you've done, we've got Rose Kingston, who has a very interesting question for you. Uti, my question for Nkanyiso is, what would his dream role be in a movie if he was cast in an international movie? And which international actor would you love to star alongside in that movie? Ooh. That's a tough one. That's tricky. But I, I have two international, uh, two favorite international actors. Uh, first being Denzel Washington Ooh. and also Angelina Jolie because uh, she she said she oh yeah. she shares a name with my grandmother. Oh, beautiful! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely those two I would love. But what role? In International. I'm You're already sure. playing a bad guy. So would you want to do something completely opposite, a more sensitive, yes. a more, you know, a softer person? A romantic guy. A romantic guy. Are Not you a, a romantic guy? I am. Not I am. a cheater. Yeah, my exes know this. It's yet to be seen. Exes, <laughs> you know our social media handles. You know our hashtags. Head on our social media platforms. Let me know if you do agree with Unkanyi. So now look, after the break, more importantly, we check out a meaty steak Gatsby. The perfect fit for your bride feast. See you after the break.